Man, I sure am glad that I got this nice M1 helmet. Nothing can hurt me now. What are we doing, Sarge? What's up everybody? Today we're going to go over the M1 helmet. We're going to do a little testing on it, a little science if you would. So this was issued, I believe, towards the end of World War II or maybe all the way through World War II, all the way up till about 1985. It's kind of a cool design. It's a dual design. I don't know if I can get it out here. It basically has a, a plastic hard hat on the inside and then a steel pot on the outside. This is just a steel pot. It's a very old steel pot. I don't think it's bulletproof. It's supposed to stop frag, things like that, protect your head. But I wanted to see, can it stop bullets? So we're gonna start with uh, some pretty small, weak calibers, and we're gonna work our way up. And we're gonna do a little learning today. So stick around for a sign. First caliber we're gonna shoot at is gonna be 22. And as always, safety first. Oh, we're on fire. So, hit a little on the side. I was actually aiming here, but it's a, it's a little 22. So, just a little, a little bit of a hit. You know, honestly, that's pretty, probably pretty accurate for shrapnel, which is really what this thing's designed for. It's not designed to stop bullets, but I just wanted to see. And no deformation on the inside. Like I said, there's an air gap between that plastic shell and the steel helmet. And a bit of gear review, yes. The pimp pouch from Onward Research will hold a Keltec 380 quite nicely. It's yeah, look at that. What did I do with the ammo? All right, up next we have the Keltec 380. I'm shooting some 380 ball that I found in my garage, much like the 22. I don't know. I just found it. So let's see. Long trigger and beautiful. So believe it or not, that was kind of a little higher than I was aiming, but as we see, there's a lot more deformation, but still didn't penetrate. Some deformation coming through. So if that's what 380 can do, uh, I don't have much hope for 9 mil, 45, or any rifle cartridges, but you know what? For science, we will do it. Up next, we have Glock 17 with Federal 115 grain. Once again, just some, some ball planking ammo. So, I don't have a lot of, uh, lot of hope for this. I honestly, I think it's going through. What do you think, chat? Well, chat, um, color me impressed. Stop nine mil. Hit pretty low. So that was the 380, that was the 22, and that's nine mil. Once again on the inside, we have a, a pretty big deformation here. Sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying to hold this with one hand's a challenge. But yeah, you would, uh, you would feel that, that's for sure. That's sticking in about half an inch. So, survivable. I'd say it's survivable. All right, so it was able to survive 22, 380 auto. Now we're going to do God's Round 45 ACP. Actually, I'm worried about stuff coming back on this one because I've seen, seen it happen, but that's why we're safe. The power of 45 ACP is just... Ah. Mm. 
It just shoots so nice too. So right there, you hit the 45 ACP. Once again, I'm surprised it didn't go through, but uh, that's sticking in about an inch. And even with this webbing, you probably would have felt that. So that could cause some damage, but uh, pretty impressive. <laughs> smells like Marlboro Reds and sweat. Hey, just wanna say thanks for making it this far in the video. If you wanna see more stuff like this, make sure to subscribe, get down in the comments, let me know what should I test next, what round this helmet have gone up against in the Korean War, the Vietnam War, I wonder. Alrighty, we switched it around to the back. So I wanted to give it a, a good chance. We already kind of ate up the front. So I know I'm, I'm not giving it the best option because it is a little more angled at the front, but this is the best I could do. I could only afford one of these things, so. All right. Some old Wolf 7.62 by 39. That looks good, yeah, okay, okay. Oh, oh no. Yeah, that went right through it, as expected. Looks like it, yeah, it didn't go out the front, so probably because I'm shooting down, which went straight down. But yeah, that, uh... oh, there it is. There's the hole. Yeehaw. So yeah, 7.62 by 39 will penetrate the USGI M1 helmet. Kind of sad. Would have been awesome. I was, I was really hoping the, uh, had done so well all the way up to 45, which I think is, is pretty good considering. And, oh, they fast. You know, looking at a, a modern helmet would probably be defeated by a similar round, so. Honestly, kind of impressive. They had good stuff. They had good stuff back in the day. Now, while the M1 helmet's already impressed me by the fact that it could stop 45, honestly, I thought nine mil would go right through it. Let's see what uh, some 5.56 will do to it. This is just 55 grain, nothing special. Range ammo, so yeah. A little low. I want to get through both sides. So I just got this new optic set up and it dawns on me. I haven't, uh, I haven't zeroed it. Multiple of the 5.56 going through. There's a, that was a fun one. So side on, it is not strong at all. Trying to see, okay, I got a couple to go through. Yeah, it's a good helmet, but it is definitely not rated for rifle rounds. I think I need a new stick. Let me know, did you enjoy it? What should we test next? I like testing. I used to be a scientist, allegedly, until they kicked me out. So let me know, and you'll have a good one. Does anybody want to buy a uh, single owner, gently used helmet?